All right. Hello, friends. I'm Hamster Lady, but you could call me Ashley. Joining me today is my friend Jesse. Hello, I'm here. Hi. This is Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, part one of the Banjo Trilogy, which I've got to play all of those games. Every last one. Yep. Gonna play this and Tui and Nuts and Bolts. Including so the expanded universe. Time. Yeah. This is a game that I played a lot as a kid, and it is my favorite game ever made because it is the best game ever made. You prefer this to Tui, right? Yes, I prefer this to Tui, but anyone who prefers Tui to this, I can understand and respect their opinion because right. Tui's pretty fucking good. And I also like Nuts and Bolts, but I find that most people who prefer who say that's their favorite of the series don't really like the first two games very much. Mm -hmm. What's your experience with this game series? Have you played any of them? Uh, I played a bit of number one a long time ago. <laughs> that's about it, and I have seen you play through the first level of this game about three times now. Alright, well, get ready for fourth. Alright. Yeah! Oh, we're playing the Xbox version because everything on the Nintendo 64 looks like muddy garbage. Online interactions are not rated. Oh, don't worry, we're not online because I'm not hooking oh, my thank Xbox God. up. <laughs> so, fun thing with this game is like the save slots are all different things. Like he's playing, I always used this one when I was a kid because he's playing Game Boy. Yeah. Do you have a Game Boy? Yeah. Also, it's kind of weird how, like, Banjo, there's apparently just three Banjos in this house, since you can see them in the background. Yeah. They kind of get so, frozen uh, in time when you... Yeah. Yeah, well, Game Boy's cool, so let's play Game Boy. This is the Game Boy version of Banjo-Kazooie. Just boots up Grunty's Revenge. Yeah. But it's like... 166p and in black and white. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you know the new ukulele has a filter that sets it to 166p res rendering resolution? How does that look? Ah, uh, bad. Nice. It's a, it's the Game Boy filter. <laughs> it's a classic. Yeah. Some deep lore here in this game. Oh yeah. You know, if you think about it, Tootie is the saddest soul of all. Go on. You know, everyone in this game is a sad soul. Oh, god, right. <laughs> you, you may recognize these characters from their debut game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. Where the director of Sakurai gave us full exposés on each character. Yeah. I don't think I've ever noticed until now that she's got like weird, like her pants go over her feet, but only like in a single little band How around her feet. How long have you been playing this game? A long time, but I never what? noticed how fucked up her legs look. No, but this is even like... I swear to God. What? I don't pay attention to Tootie's feet. She's in like two cutscenes in this whole game. This cutscene is fairly long, but I really like it. Yeah. Alright, is this your favorite Banjo-Kazooie opening cutscene? Um... 
this your favorite OP, or do you prefer part two, part three? Tui has a pretty good opening cutscene, but it's very long, and in the Xbox version, it, the audio desyncs with the video. <laughs> Nuts and Bolts actually has a pretty good opening like sequence where you're extremely fat. So that's I fun. remember Fat Banjo. Yeah. Should be an alt costume in Smash Bros. Yeah. That's what happens I'd when Banjo eats a mushroom. Yeah. Also, that picture there of Banjo in a forest is like a uh, cut stage. Yeah. It is not in the final game. Wait, we're, we're Banjo. We're in control of this game. Finally in control. Yeah. And now it's gone. What? Oh, yeah. So, you can speed up text by holding the button. And the people go like, oh, oh like they, they speed up their mumbles. Like and I like that. Yeah. And I guess for the sake of making sure everyone can read it, I should probably let it just play at regular speed. But uh, I'll probably speed up stuff that's like, oh, I'm explaining controls, that sort of thing. Yeah. You can do it better. Yeah. Ever thought about speedrunning this game? Yes, actually. I did try it a little bit, but then found that I did not enjoy playing the game that way. Fair enough. Should I get him to teach me some basic moves? No. Okay. Don't subject me to more bottles. Bottles is great. Oh. He's such a poor soul. That's why he sucks. He, he's a lost soul. Oh. I mean, he's really a poor soul in Tui. Crestfallen bottles. So, uh, you may notice we're jumping higher now. Yep. As you go through the tutorial and he, like, teaches you how to jump and how to do things, it actually unlocks, like, the backflip and other basic moves. Nice. And the roll and everything. Like, you could just kind of barely jump at the start. But we will go through the tutorial areas real quick. Uh, our basic yeah. moves include jumping, of course. We've got a little bit of a double jump, the feathery flap, backflip. It's very standard Mario 64 stuff. This game was heavily inspired by. Yeah. This game was heavily inspired by Mario 64, and I think it uses the same engine as well. Hmm. Uh, we can climb trees. It doesn't come up very often, but you can do it. We can peck at things, so that's always good. We've got this, like, claw swipe that's useless. Uh, rolling into <laughs> things is honestly the best way to kill them. If you jump at the end, you cancel the animation. Pretty good tech. Yeah, pretty hot tech. Uh, these empty honeycomb things we're collecting give us an extra health bar when we get the ball. Every stage has two of them, except this tutorial area has six. You just messed the one up. Yeah, and I don't care enough to go back and get it, because one ups are meaningless in this game, they just exist. If you run out of what up like if you run out of lives, the only thing it does differently is it puts you back here and you have to walk back to the stage that you were in. I can't believe Ashley missed the one up. I know. Uh, we have this like barge attack. It's not very useful in combat, but there's like puzzles that use it, like this one, for example. And the last one you break will always be the one that has the honeycomb piece in it. Okay. Up here is where Bottles teaches you combat and things come out of that hole in the ground. But since we skipped the tutorial, we just kill this Kali Wobble and we get the thing. It's a good name for an enemy. Yes, Kali Wobble is a very good name. The onion's name is Ball, like B-A-W-L. 
and I forgot the carrot's name because I'm a fake Banjo fan. <laughs> I cannot remember the name of the carrot enemy who's only in this one screen of the game. Would you like me to Google it for you? Uh, it's okay. I'll Google it for you. Okay. We can also swim underwater. We have a separate air meter from our health. We can swim slowly by kicking with Banjo, which is good for fine tuning. And then Kazooie swims fast. His name which is, is a little bit harder to steer on. What? His name is Topper. Oh yeah, Topper. I, I knew that. I just forgot it. <laughs> but yeah, we have got our extended health bar. We are now up to 6 HP. I mean, we could hit up. Hit up the spiral. The spiral mountain. That's the area we're in, by the way. Spiral mountain. Named oh. after this mountain, which is a spiral. It's pretty good. Yeah. There's nothing really else to do in Spiral Mountain. There's one thing at Banjo's house, but that is for later in the Let's Play. We will look at the secret in Banjo's house. I like it when games put secrets in, like, the starting area. Mm -hmm. It's a cool secret, too. Like, I didn't know about it until, like, my adulthood when I played this game so much as a child. Paper Mario puts a secret in Mario's house. Mm-hmm. You can find That's Luigi's cool. journal. Yeah. So, Gratilda's, like, really big. Yep. Like, you kind of don't realize that she's, like, t like, three times taller than Banjo. She's too big for Smash. Yeah. Speaking of Smash Bros, they have like a generic dragonfly enemy from this game as a spirit, and they don't have like Klungo, this guy in this cutscene, Crunchy's assistant. Yeah. Like, why did they put the buzz power in? It's iconic. Well, that's true. <laughs> 